Hello, all. Well, Gabriel here, and a happy Sabbath to you all. I hope you're doing very well. Now, do you know that the Sabbath is about inclusion? Let me read something for you from Exodus chapter 20, verse 8 to 11. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8 to 11. Now it says, Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Six days ye shall labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. You shall do no work. Now does it stop there? No. It goes further and it says, Your sons and daughter, your male or female slave, your livestock or the alien resident in your town, for in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the seas and all that is in them, but rested the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and consecrated it. It is really interesting that in uh, verse 10, it talks about you not being the only person invited not to do any work. But there is an inclusion for your sons, your daughters your male and female slaves or your servants, to put it in the modern terms. And even the visitor that is in the town, not in, the, in your house, the visitor in the town. That is how much inclusion sits within the realm of the Sabbath. That it thinks about even the visitor who is even visiting. That person who might have a different view to you. That person who might be having a different opinion, a different uh, overview of life than yourself. Even that person is included in this rest that God deems fit for humanity. Now you see, no longer ago I was talking to a friend who was saying, sharing with me that Sometimes it's funny how we human beings act. You will see somebody who always is happy, but on a very occasion, one day or something will just happen in their life. And they will change their emotions. Everything about them will change. And we will not be able to recognize that person within the light that we thought we know that person. And sometimes when we experience that, we become so disappointed in those people. And being disappointed in them, we decide to exclude ourselves from these individuals. The reality is, we are all living in a dark world. A world filled with hardships. And we don't know what we are all going through. We actually don't know our capacity, how we would deal with certain situations until those situations happen. And so that very thing that will happen to you that you will laugh about, it will happen to somebody else who will start crying. That very thing that will happen to you that you will decide to jump over the bridge, it will happen to another person and they will decide to go on holiday. We all react to situations differently. But what the Sabbath teaches us is that regardless of what we feel, how we see certain things, it is a moment for us to come together, to include ourselves with each other, to not be isolated from one another, but to be included, to call upon each other and embrace each other, allow each other to experience the warmth that God wants to share with us. That is why he consecrated it, not just for you, but for your sons and daughters for your wife and your husband, for your servants, your workers, the people who serve underneath you, and also for that stranger who has a different opinion than you, for that stranger who sees the world differently than you, for that stranger who is going through hell, who is going through greatness, for that very stranger who is outside of your door, for you to include that person in it. The Sabbath indeed is a point of inclusion. It's a, a moment for us to include each other. I hope that on this very day, you will think of that very person who is neglected, who feels a sense of uh, no unity to anybody, a sense of cordlessness, not linked to anybody. And I hope that you will make it a point to touch that life. Because you see, we don't know what we are going through. We don't know what everybody is going through. But what we do know is we do have an experience 
of touching and influencing each other's life. Let's go ahead on this Sabbath day and do that and include each other in what we do. God bless you. Until the next time, a happy Sabbath to you all. Bye.